Welcome to Vlogtober. <laughs> Just diving straight in. Today I thought I would do, I would chat you through um, my everyday makeup. It kind of changes day to day depending on how I'm feeling, but I'll do kind of like the basic version because I don't need to be wearing a lot of makeup today. Just thought I'd chat you through the products in case you're interested. Already got my coffee today. So let's start with the foundation. I've been using, I've been mixing these two mostly for colour reasons because the Illa Mask is too light. This Makeup Forever one that I got in the US is too dark. Obviously this one is the HD Skin one. It sort of went viral on TikTok, I think. I don't know. <laughs> and it is nice. It's pretty full coverage but quite light feeling but to be honest I can't really review it that well because I just bought a shade that's too dark for me anyway so you know when that's all you can see <laughs> when the shade is wrong so I can't really speak too much about it but I know that I do love this Illamasqua when I used it all last winter it's the Illamasqua skin base and I think in terms of like full coverage foundations or medium to full coverage foundations I do prefer this one texturally I just like it it's kind of like a moisturizer kind of like a thick gelish moisturizer like it has quite a tacky feel, um, which I really like. I think it gives a really beautiful finish and it also just feels literally nice to wear. I know some foundations, they like feel like nothing to wear. For example, a great, a great version of that is the Bare Minerals Original, the powder one. But when it comes to kind of medium to full coverage, I prefer the thicker ones to like the really thin ones. First of all, because I think the thin ones are full of stuff that my skin doesn't like, like what they put in there, the silicones and stuff, like my skin just doesn't agree very well with that kind of foundation. Like I used to wear a gorgeous NARS one, which looked gorgeous on the skin, super full coverage, but I definitely, it was making me break out all over the shop. I prefer to have it be a little thicker in consistency, have less of that kind of stuff in it and this one feels gorgeous and on the skin like it feels moisturizing almost I don't know anyway I'm mixing them at the moment because this one is still a little bit too light for me so I do kind of like a little half pump of each because they are pretty full coverage as I say and then I usually go in and do this first bit with my hands because when you do have a foundation that is like super, that has more coverage, I think it's really easy for it to look cakey and kind of not so nice on. So if you go ahead with your clean hands, I find that can just help. Hang on, I've just remembered I have to go wet my brush. So excited in the new house. Sorry, my camera, my memory card just got full, but in the new house where I do my makeup will be right next to a bathroom with a sink in so I can wet my sponge which is what I just went to do with ease. I mean not that that bathroom's very far away from me but this one will be even closer. Right I'm using the Hourglass Concealer, can't even remember what this one's called but I just put a little bit on the back of my hand and then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna like use my finger and put it straight on some of the areas that I need concealing. Just kind of basically adding that extra layer of coverage. I'm trying to listen to, obviously not while I'm literally speaking, but I'm trying to listen to more of A Story of a New Name by Elena, Elena Ferrante. Haven't listened to it for ages, but I just can't get into these books. Like I am enjoying it to some degree, but just not, not loads that it makes me want to listen to it, if you know what I mean. So, I don't know. I don't know whether I should just give up with them. I don't know, I just don't find them very interesting. I just don't find the storyline very interesting. I don't know why. I just can't get on with them. Um, then I'm going to go in with my sponge, which is still a bit too damp actually. But I'm just going to kind of blend in what I've done. Then I'm going to take the Bare Minerals concealer, the Bare Pro concealer, which is a bit kind of thicker and more full coverage. I'm going to take it on this hourglass brush, which I absolutely love, and just go in some of the areas that still need a little bit of extra coverage and just kind of, as you can see, like pressing it in. Then I'm going to take 
my Bare Minerals kind of loose bronzer thing in warmth. Can't remember the exact name. And I'm going to start buffing that on the skin using this big Vive brush, which is also lovely. Then I'm going to take the Vive blush in Piazza on a kind of smaller, more precise brush. Finishing off complexion with my trusty Freck. I wish I could relinquish this trend of doing freckles, but I just love them. Still love them. And then I'm going to take Sauce from the Vive Muse palette with this I love this brush. This is the Vive Large Eyeshadow Blender. I want about five of these. Not just for eyeshadow, but also I think they would be it would be so nice for concealer too. But just look at that, just slap that eyeshadow on in a nice blended, even fashion. It doesn't pull at your eye skin or anything like that. It's not it's a very kind of soft brush. Just so nice. You know, if you're someone that likes doing eyeshadow but finds yourself with a lot less time, I really like this one. Mostly my routine takes me about like kind of a maximum of 20 minutes, even with some of the more complex stuff. I just don't have the patience. Even even if I was had more time, I really just don't have the patience to spend ages on my makeup. Maybe it shows. <laughs> but, you know, once you kind of... I'm, you know, I'm not big into doing lots of different looks these days. So once you've kind of found something that works for you, I find it doesn't take too long to do it, you know. Then I'm going to take the Ico Black Magic Coco Edit Brown Eyeliner Pencil. And I'm just going to take it right up close to the lash line. I'm pretty sure I've shown you this before because I've been doing it for ages. And then I'll take a pencil brush and use um, usually Merlot from this palette, so this colour here. So it's kind of like a reddish purple and I like that layering of brown, reds and purples. Just kind of looks, it looks nice and it looks like you've spent more time doing it than you have. So by picking a colour, like an eyeshadow colour to blend the eyeliner out with that isn't the same colour as the liner. It sort of adds a little bit of depth and dimension. I like even doing this under my black eyeliner these days because I feel like like if I'm going to do a winged liner or something like that because I feel like again it just adds a little bit of like depth underneath that line and it brings out the green in my eyes a little bit too. My eyes are kind of hazily. Um, they've got greener as I've got older especially in certain lights, not in all lights. So these sorts of colours really, I know Jamie's got um, green eyes, whose palette this is. <laughs> and it definitely brings out the best in green eyes. So I kind of blend that liner until you can basically no longer see like a defined line. And then that's it for eyes basically, we're just going to add some mascara. My lashes look a lot better than they have done for like, I want to say a couple of years. Don't know what that's about, but I wonder if it's some sort of pregnancy thing that has finally recovered itself. I do vaguely remember something about my lashes looking sparser or feeling sparser at the beginning of pregnancy, but quite a long time ago now, guys. I'm using the Authored Mascara. This stuff is fantastic. Tanya Burr's brand. Just love it. But yeah, they're looking so much... They're looking more like how I remember them looking. Maybe it's the Authored Mascara. I don't know. Has it got something in it? Because I've been using it pretty much exclusively. Then I'm going to take the Authored Brow Gel as well in number two, which is called Mid Brown. I don't bother putting anything else through my brows. Now when I put like pencil through my brows it just looks too dark to me, but I don't know. I don't know if that's because I'm generally a lot paler than I have been in the past or what, but I just like this. It's so quick and easy. I just run it through my brows, it adds a tiny bit of colour, perfect amount of colour, and just kind of brushes them up nicely. 
And then I've got my new lip combo going on recently. I was wearing a slightly different version of it yesterday, but I really like these two Huda Beauty colours. Obviously I used to wear Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk and now they're not cruelty free anymore. So frustrating because I absolutely love that colour. So neither of these are quite Pillow Talk, but Muted Pink is pretty close. It's a little bit pinker. Um, and then I've also got Pinky Brown, which I was wearing yesterday. Um, both are really nice. I'm going to wear Muted Pink today. Look how stupid I am. I didn't realise that it was a screw up kind of situation, like one of these where you just, if you need more pencil, you just screw it. So I sharpened the plasticky tip. Anyway, still just about works. <laughs> Camera now, memory card again. I need to go and sort that out. But that's what it looks like on its own. So as you can see, it is a little darker and pinkier, I would say, than Pillow Talk. But it's not its not a million miles away. Um, and I always used to put Bare Minerals Peony lipstick over the top of Pillow Talk anyway to lighten it up. I've been using the past few days the Nude Sticks, Nudies all over face colour in bareback and I've been using my finger and just patting it on top but I might go and try and find peony and put it over the top and see what that looks like too. That's a very nudey nude but I love it over like a pinky liner but yeah if you're if you go back and watch any vlogtober before now basically this is what I've been and I'm wearing lipstick this is what I've been wearing it's a really nice colour it's not far off Pillow Talk kind of shade itself, but nudier. That's why I like it over this. Um, obviously, it's a nude, nude stick, so you can wear it on your cheeks and everything as well. But let me find Peony. So here is Peony. You can see it's super nude. And I'll just pat it basically in the centre. So much more nude than I remember this one. Right, my loves. My other camera would not stop getting a full memory card but this is what the lip colour looks like finally so I think it looks really nice anyway I'm gonna powder I forgot to powder but I use, I use a little hourglass loose powder and then I'm ready for the day so my loves um I've literally I don't know why I did this because I meant to film it for here too but I just took off my boots and jacket which really kind of made this outfit <laughs> but I just did a little TikTok of it um, so you can head over to my TikTok if you fancy, it's linked down below, I can't remember if it's just in my link tree or I've linked it specifically, but I'm sunbeams.jess on there anyway, and I'm enjoying TikTok this week. <laughs> I've made a few TikToks. Goodness knows if I'll be able to maintain any level of posting there regularly. Uh, <laughs> I give up with myself, but um, I'm enjoying it. So if you do want to see this outfit with the boots and the jacket, which it looks 10 times better with, um, you can go there. But I'm just wearing the black version of the sweater set that my mum, one of the free people's sweater sets that my mum gave me earlier this week or over the weekend um, that she wasn't wearing, she bought for herself. And she said that they looked much better on me, so thank you, mum. <laughs> what was I going to say about these? I was on the Free People website yesterday and they definitely still have these, as I'm sure you will already have been able to tell if you liked the other set, I'm sure I will have linked it up properly, but um, they're the Haley sweater set and they're really cute. Wow, well, just had a loud bang come from downstairs, goodness knows what that was. So yes, very comfy, very cute. By the way, my loves, true to form, as suspected. Ines had a terrible night last night after her good night the night before. Yes, we were up a lot. It was tiring. I am tired. I know I said I wasn't going to go into the details of like what we did differently on each different day and each different night. There is one thing I will say is that I do think she sleeps a lot better when she is full, like really full from dinner and she has a really good dinner. Now, of course, many people would then say, well, make sure she has a good dinner before she goes to bed. And... I would love to do that <laughs> but the thing is I can't feed her pasta every night like every single night because she had quite a lot of pasta the night before last I could say well she should have less milk with me so that she ends up having more dinner but the night before last she had loads of milk then she had loads of pasta and last night she just didn't eat as much and 
what can I do? I can't force food down the girl's throat, <laughs> you know? I know people think that you have more control than you do, I think. We have tried having little bedtime snacks and she did actually have a bedtime snack last night, but it was just some fruit. So I don't think it was super filling, like long-term filling. So I might experiment a little bit with a bedtime snack if I feel like dinner's too far away from bedtime. But if you also find this and then you find yourself worrying about how am I going to get more dinner into my child and more, you know, filling food. It's like when the baby babies are really little and they say, make sure you give them a full feed before they go to bed. How am I, I can't make the baby eat more. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's just, especially like if you're breastfeeding, if your baby doesn't want a full feed, like what are you going to do? They don't know that they have... 12 hours without food or whatever. That's just my my food for thought this morning. Because I was like, oh, I, I found myself for five minutes being like, right, one of my strategies gonna be to make sure she eats more dinner. I literally can't make her eat, eat more, you know? It's, it's just gotta be, maybe when she can communicate a little bit better, I can express to her that she should probably eat more dinner or, have a little bedtime snack so that she's not hungry overnight but she's not gonna understand me if I say that to her now um so I then put that out of my mind because you know we don't have time to be worrying about that I'm very much of the mind that um Zach and I provide her with her food we pick what we offer her and then she chooses what to eat depending on how hungry she's feeling so yeah that is that. I'm gonna open a package I got sent yesterday because I think I know what's inside it. Gorgeous, lovely Amy from The Little Magpie. In fact, I think she's got rid of that handle and she's now just Amy Bell on Instagram. She, last year she did a collaboration with the Tartan Blanket Company with a collection of scarves, which I think almost immediately sold out. So I think she's got more stock coming around this time, um, but she's doing another collaboration with them she's Scottish the brand is Scottish yes I think I've got a package here with one of the scarves in they're launching on Friday so I don't know if you will even see this before they launch oh gosh hopefully you'll have seen it on my Instagram stories maybe right let's open her up Ooh. first of all yay for recyclable packaging we love to see it um, so yes, launching Friday 14th of October at 1pm. Designed in collaboration with Amy Bell and woven from sustainable lamb's wool is an ode to the joy of colour with a nod to bold Scottish patterning. And 2% of each purchase supports positive impact charities, Banquet and Cool Earth. Um, so 1% for the planet and 1% for the people. There is the beautiful Amy. You should follow her on Instagram because her imagery is gorgeous and she's also really funny. Ooh, look at this! So beautiful. Oh my goodness, it feels so gorgeous. I still wear, um, well, obviously I haven't for a while because it's not been cold enough, but I wear my scarf from last year, which is a gorgeous, like, green check. But this year I thought I would pick a more kind of traditional looking scarf. And how gorgeous is this? So this is the Arlo, which I believe is named after the equally lovely Liv Purvis's son, who is about... A month and a bit older than Inez, I think. Some details about lambs will be there if you're interested. It feels so soft. And apparently these are a little bigger than last year's too. But look at that. Grey on the inside. And then this gorgeous kind of check or tartan on the outside. I love that. I love like double-sided scarves because obviously you get kind of two looks in one. Slash it just adds a little bit of interest. What else have we got in here? We've got, ooh, we've got a mug. We've got some coffee, which Zach will be very happy with. I know we haven't been making a lot of coffee at home recently. We had to put our DeLonghi in storage. We've got too many coffee machines in this house, but hopefully when we move to our house, we'll be making a bit more coffee as well. I do like going out for one too, though, just to get out of the house, but you know. We've got a candle, lime, basil, and mandarin. Let's have a sniff. I do love those smells together oh that's a nice I think I feel like that's a nice bathroom candle that one I got some sweeties giant strawberries 
Seth will be pleased with these. He loves strawberries like this. Right, let's um, open my mug and then I'm going to try my scarf on. This is a good one. I can just tell. <gasps> yes, I love that. Look at the inside. It's lilac. <sighs> love, 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 love. It's, I don't know if they sell these. I guess you could have a look online. Maybe they do. But yeah, it's like a lilac and orangey check, which is one of my favorite color combinations. What a good mug, seriously. Very pleased with that. So, let me try my scarf on. I mean, look how cozy this is. Yes, yes, a thousand times yes. It makes me even more excited for <laughs> scarf weather. I'm such a, I, I'm real scarf person, actually. I also think it's nice because you've got that like two double-sided thing going on. I think it's going to just be a really versatile piece. Like it looks nice with this black outfit. Got a little bit of black running through it. It will look nice with browns and it will look nice with greys. I just think gorgeous piece. Hope it's not already sold out if you're watching this and you didn't see my Instagram story and you want to get your hands on it. Definitely feels bigger than last year's as well. So even cozier. So yes, thank you so much to Amy and to Tartan Blanket Company. Lovely, lovely stuff. Ordered myself a poke bowl. I haven't ordered my lunch in ages. Zach's probably gonna be mad at me when he sees this, but I <laughs> had no inspiration for lunch today. So I thought I'd treat myself. So my copy of House of Leaves has arrived today, finally. Looking at it, <laughs> I'm a little bit scared. We're doing a buddy, re buddy read for this um, through Storygraph. And I'm very excited to get started with it. I've been a bit lax on my reading the last few days. Um, but I need to get back on it. I think I might, like I said before, like deprioritize the book of stuff for a little while. Just focus on my October buddy reads and the book club book. I might come back to them at some point. But equally, I need to remember what I said at the beginning of the year, which was I want to stop reading as much new stuff and just focus on my own reading. Because... You know, I, as I say a million times, I do enough of that now anyway with the Sunday Times thing that I'm doing, so I don't really need to be adding. I need more time to just focus on things that I've had on my TBR for ages and that I've got lying around. So yeah, I'm thinking of doing some kind of projects, not projects, like reading challenges, not quite the word either, but like reading... I think projects we'll go with projects and filming them for you like I have a few authors who I would really like to finish everything that they've published um, and then maybe like I could do not rankings but just do like an overview of their whole works so like I'd like to do one for Jeff Vandermeer finish off um, the rest of his books like I'd like to do one for Ursula Le Guin I'd like to do one for Toni Morrison I'm sure there's a million other authors I do find that reading lots of an author's work in sort of quick succession can be really rewarding because you see kind of either how they grow or the things that are, you know, the themes that they're particularly interested in. I think it gives you like a really nice deep perspective on them and their work, especially authors that I love. And then I would kind of film little snippets over a period of time of me reading those books. Really want to do that for you. But finding the time <laughs> is hard, but I would really like to do that. So yes, I am deprioritizing the book for now. I think I'll finish the trees and then leave it for now and just focus on my own reading. And because yeah, I need to catch up with my buddy reads because I think people have started them and I want to read along with them. That was the point of the buddy read. So Anyway, I'm going to head downstairs. I've got lots to do on the computer down there. Some editing, some uh, like looking at the stuff we did yesterday. So I need to get going. So I just did some bits on the computer, like I said. Um, and now Zach's going to swap with me. So he's going to come up here and I'm going to go chill with baby for a bit. I am gonna head to bed now. 
haven't updated you for a little while because just hanging with the baby as always we had our dinner and then she took longer than usual to get to sleep tonight so my evening is kind of thrown off and um, I'm feeling so tired I feel like I just can't even put sentences and thoughts together for you I might do a little bit of reading before I go to sleep but thank you so much for watching today and I will see you again tomorrow